What's poppin' homies, it's your boy Frank Nady back in the building. Right now I'm at the Florida Mall. I just did a Nike outlet on Violin and also an Adidas outlet on Violin. Not sure when you're gonna see both, but eventually you will see them. But nevertheless, we outside. The reason I'm here is because I gotta pick up my new specs. I got some glasses, man. I treat myself to some glasses. You know, I do wear glasses. Currently I'm rocking contacts. And I don't know if y'all can see, but your boy got hit in the eye. We already talked about that. That was last year, that's in the past. So during my injury, you know, I had to wear glasses, but really I didn't, but I supposed to. I had ordered some glasses that weren't available. And I have my old glasses that I had for like four or five years, which is still doing its thing, which is still definitely usable. But I'm like, yo, I need some glasses. Like that's updated. That's, I feel comfortable wearing. And that's what I did. I bought me some glasses and that's what I'm about to do when I pick them up. However, we at the shoe mall. We're gonna have to walk through the shoe alley, man. So I'm gonna go inside, see what's popping inside. So we're gonna do a little light vlog, but I'm really here to pick up these glasses. You know how I do. And yeah, let's make it. That's it. That's all I gotta say. Let's let's get this vlog started. Peace. Got a mask. Look. I think I'm Gucci. How about look, y'all? Let's go, you on. Got the all feet, man. We got the Justin Timberlake. What's poppin' on the video right now? Back in the building. Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up, man. I had to re record this. How? So right now I'm in a finish line and I still got these joints here. These are the UNC Blue 9s. They're going for $80, youth pair, but not our size. They also got the 12, black and red thing. Also going, well, actually these are going for 80. This recently came out, passed on the adult pair. Obviously these are kids, have no interest in them. These are black 13s. Again, this is GS or youth, 140 is the price. Gotta be youth or, or girls pairs, but look at the glitter. Oh, also they got the Jordan 1s as well, but these are mids, all black. Leathers don't look that bad. Yeah, so they got these, but 11 and a half to 9 only. What they going for? 110? 115. 115? Yeah. Alright, it's all good, man. I appreciate it. Yo, the music was really loud in our uh, finish line. But anyway, she told me that the JD Sports, uh, that's actually in the mall, in the sneaker alley, that I always call it, um, they're actually going to be a JD uh, Sports opened up across from the other foot traffic sites. And that spot's not going to open until April 2021. On top of that, she told me, which I didn't know, that Shoe Palace was per recently purchased by JD Sports. So they just gobble up that company. They're trying to they're trying to um, acquire a lot of sneaker companies, man, to make their portfolio big and have a bigger expansion. So that's that's dope, man. I appreciate that. More competition. I don't know how that's going to make a difference because Jordan brand, the same price no matter what shoe store. So that's a JD Sports I'm talking about, man. It says new store coming soon. That won't be until April of this year. Let's fall in the champs, see what's popping. So they got the Bel Airs, so the inverse Bel Airs or reverse Bel Airs. Not sure what size this is. It's sitting in the champs. And they finally got the turf orange. So that's, that's dope. Finish line just had a pair. I don't know what size they have here, but they're available for 115 if you choose to purchase. That's where I got my pair from, but in Tallahassee. We also got these as well. The red and black 12s, 190. Also, they got the uh, green joints too. Green Air Max 90s. The OG orange is the other one that I'm looking for, but I'm not stressed on getting it. They're, they're below retail right now. Right now we in uh foot action. I'm still peeping these here. Jordan Team Ones, bro. They're going for 140. I thought they was on sale. They are on sale. It's just this doesn't have the sticker on there, man. I'm coming for these UNC blue and white joints. Also, they still got these joints. <laughs> What's the odds, right? Nah, these joints are sitting everywhere, man. I far passed on these, had no interest. Quay did it for me though. Not a fan of it. Colorway is cool, but I'm good on 12s. I'm not a big fan of 12 anyway, so I'm Gucci. Blue game is all I need, man. All right, my last store before I take it to the crib and show you my pickup. All right, this is Foot Locker House of Hoops. Again, they still got the 12s. Looks like they still got the adapts too. They got the black joints though. And I saw, had a quick glimpse as I was walking by. They got the turf orange as well, the mid. And let's go into the House of Hoops side of things. See what's popping over here. Okay, this is the basketball section. Look how wide this is, man. I got it on the wide angle. But yo, peep these. I actually like the D's, bro. LeBron graffiti's. These are dope. I like them. KD 12s, LeBron 17s. We got the Jamaican colorway. Here's <laughs> the KD's. These are 13s or 14s? These are the 13s. I'm tripping. My fault. And they got the trapping shoes. So they got the 35s and the bread colorway. Black and red. 180s are probably stuff. Oh, they also got the mid secrets I'm not a fan of. 
Let me get out of here for this music so I blast him. Alright, let's flex. Alright, so wrap y'all. I'm done. Yo, I'm gonna show y'all what I got in the car, man. We'll wrap it up in there, alright? This it was not that bad. Leaving the Florida mall. Man, if y'all come to Orlando, man, I always get the question, yo, Frank, where do I go? What stores do I go to? What's the best mall? What's the best outlet for sneakers and for malls? Come to the Florida mall. You won't be disappointed. It's what I call the sneaker alley. All your sneaker shops is all in the road, man. So now I got to find where I park so we can get out of here. But first, I want to give a rest in peace to Hank Aaron. He passed away today. Uh, January 22nd, 2021. If you're watching this, want to know the time frame. Uh, Hank Aaron was a baseball player. Uh, he played for, you know, the Negro Leagues. Then he went to, I think, uh, Milwaukee Brewers, Brewers, I think, and then to the Braves. Um, they retired his jersey, number 44, on both teams, which is tremendous. He was 86 years of age. Unknown at the time was the cause of death. Obviously, he's elderly. So hopefully just natural causes, no complications to what's going on today, man. Uh, condolences to him and his family. Wow, that's crazy. I, I knew of Hank Aaron because I played baseball. Baseball was my first sport, man. I grew up playing baseball before I transitioned to playing basketball. And I kind of, uh, well rather, back, baseball took a back seat. So I really don't follow baseball players as much, but when you hear these names, these household names, man, like wow, it's just still hit close to home, man. On the, Lighter note, man. We got some pickups, man. I told you guys I was going to show you guys what I picked up. Went to the mall, picked up some specs. And I want to show you which specs I picked up. Now, this is my first designer anything. Well, yeah, most likely at least this brand. These are some Gucci glasses. And what do you guys see them, man? Now, I did pay a couple Jordan ones for these. Um, it was kind of pricey, but... I don't buy glasses that often. I think the last pair of glasses or set of glasses I had was some Ray-Bans and it was in 2014, 2015, so well over five, six years ago. So I decided to treat myself for Christmas and buy these. There are prescription that have, I throw everything at them except for the transition. So, you know, when you walk outside, uh, you know, outside to, I'm sorry, when you walk from outside to inside and vice versa, you know how to transition. That's the only thing I don't have on here. Got the scratch resistance, got insurance. And so I just like, yo, let me spoil myself and buy these, man. They're the Gucci frames. Actually, it wasn't even the, sh <laughs> the glasses I actually wouldn't get, but I saw them at the last minute and I had a cop. And this is what they look like with them on face. I think I might rock these today, man. I think I'm going to go through the whole day with these on. Let me know what you guys think. Obviously, they are pricey, but, you know. At the rate I buy glasses, hopefully I don't need another pair of glasses no time soon. We'll just set these aside. And let's get into the main heat of the channel or the main substance of this channel. The meat and potatoes of this channel. We got a pickup dog from Finish Line, man. This is a extreme delay dub, a postponed dub. Peep the label. These are size 12, my size. And these are the Air Jordan 1 High OG Vault University Gold Things. These shoes came out this year, January 9th, I believe. It was a Saturday. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Could have been a Friday. Whatever Jan January 9th was, that's when these shoes came out. I attempt to get them on sneakers app and feel miserably like everyone else who attempt to get shoes off the sneaker app. Snowville, the homie had a pair. I want to pick up uh, some orange turf or turf orange uh, Air Jordan 1 mids from him and he had this in hand and he, you know, showed me the, the details of the shoe. I posted that little bit of footage when I went to the his house to pick up those shoes and I'll show you guys a glimpse of this. Well, a few days later, he hit me up and like, yo, I can get you this shoe, but it's gonna be a little bit over retail. I was like, yo, how much over retail? He was like, maybe like 10, $15. So I ended up paying like 190. I'm like, that's not even crazy, but I, you know what I'm saying? 170 plus taxes, call it 180, and I only had to pay $10 over. That's not bad, yo. $10 over, I'll take it. So that's why they're in my possession. Now, this shoe hit a little bit different from your traditional Air Jordan 1 high OGs, and I'm going to comb over the differences. Uh, some of the nuances is this, this little flap at the bottom of the, of the laces. That's crazy. I've never seen that before. But this shoe also have a lot of inspiration from the Air Jordan Off-Whites. If you guys could take a look at this exposed tongue, you know what I'm saying? Exposed sponge on the side. Also got some vault. Uh, stitching throughout the whole entire tongue. Also, Jordan brand also did the reverse of this tag. This tongue tag used to be flipped inside in. That makes sense. 
So this used to be on the inside and then this Nike Air used to be on the outside. They have used nylon, they have used leather, and now they have used this plastic. This is the third iteration of Air Jordan 1 High OGs. I have seen different tongue tags. That's unique and the colors in Volt and orange on the tag. Now the leather material is not crazy. It's not the shadow backboard. It reminds me more of the Jordan 1 Yang and Yang or the Game Rolls. You know, any old Jordan from 2016, 17, 18 with white toe boxes, that's the type of leather you're gonna get. It's kind of like that hard cardboard type leather. So it's not the best leather. And that's also the same leather to use on the side panels of this shoe. You got a black swoosh, not tumbled, but the leather in black is actually that's wrapped around the toe box is a lot more softer than the white leather of the toe box. So that's cool. And if you take it to the top of the shoe, you got these flaps. These flaps on all Air Jordan 1s, typically these flaps are usually sewed into the side of the heel of the shoe. They're not attached to the heel at all. And also if you remove that, this material right here on top of the heel feels a little bit different. It feels like foam, to be honest with you, man. So there's a lot of different texture of this shoe, obviously a lot of different colors. And also you got a lot of inspiration from the off-white as well. Let's take it to the back heel of the, of the shoe where you see the Oni University Gold, which ironically, they're calling this University Gold and there's a small patch of it. They could have called this Vault Black and White because there's not much of this University Gold. I also want to know, what's Jordan inspiration for naming the colorway of shoes? Because I have seen shoes with a hit of a color and they'll put that predominantly in the color. That's crazy. I like to know how to decide what colors to put on the actual shoe box label. On the inside of the shoe, it's met with that black lining. Nothing crazy, just general lining. And also you got a white insole with a Volt Nike ear. Black outsole, Asian midsole, that's like that off white. And even the laces is more like a, a white too as well. More like an egg white, you know what I'm saying? Eggnog white, I don't even think these are white. Unless my eyes and light is playing tricks on me, but I don't believe that to be a pure all white laces. Now, the second shoe is no different than the other shoe. So this is the right shoe I was showing you guys. This is the left shoe. And you guys probably wondering, yo, Frank, where is your, your laces? Does it come with extra pair of laces? It does. Mine just fell off and it comes with an extra black set of laces. Now, speaking of laces, what I probably would do with this shoe is probably put like a university, gold university laces, or I might put a Volt colorway just to make it pop and change the appearance just a tad bit. Well, there you go. I give you a review, which I do not like doing, man. I gotta comb over the shoes. Gotta give you guys the details and nuances that I see. And I never script these out, man. It's always on top of the domes. I may not do so well, but it's just how it is, man. This is just how I feel in a moment, giving you guys my thoughts and opinions. I think that's what it is. It's mostly thoughts and opinions about a shoe. I look at this shoe, I comb over it in real time with you guys, and whatever comes to my mind is where I let you guys know how I feel. Now, where do I rank this amongst other Air Jordan 1s that I have gotten in the last four or five years? This is cool, it's a different color, so this would probably get on the feet a lot quicker than my other shoes. Because a lot of shoes, to be to be real, especially Jordan 1s, they're getting very redundant, right? A few colorways, a few, few changes here and there. I just like the cut because you can rock it with so much. And because you do have a plethora of different colors and style, um, I like when Jordan brands switch up the style, you know, giving us the exposed tongue, which is cool. Uh, giving us this flap, that's different. Giving us Volt. It's very rare that you'll see a Volt on any Air Jordan 1s. I can't think of any other shoe or any other Air Jordan 1 that has that Volt colorway. I know a lot of you guys be clowning me like, yo, I love Volt shoes, but it is what it is. But anyways, man, I've been rambling. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that Marl vlog, if you enjoyed this pick or pickups, let me know. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think of these uh, Volt university gold air jordan ones and also let me know what you think of my new glasses my gucci glasses man can't wait to wear them i'm gonna shoot a vlog here shortly and i'm in them actually today as soon as i finish edit this video and get it up and pop in um leave your comments down below your boy love to hear you oh before i let you go if you're new and you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for we on the road to 100 K. I want to get to 100K before the year is over, man. We still got 11 months. That's crazy, right? 11 months. This new year just started. We only got 11 more months in this new year, man. So help your boy out. Support the channel. I do drop videos, if not every day, every other day. That I can promise you. I think that's it, man. Oh, I forgot what I want to tell you. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Hit that notification bell as well. And everybody else, leave those comments down below. And your boy get back to you as soon as possible. Until then, until we meet again, you already know my slogan. Good to go. It's a wrap. These are dope.